okay guys welcome back to best quotes if you are new to this channel please consider subscribing of course i believe that you will enjoy the content so but going forward i want to be doing quotes you know different from the way i used to do them before so now i'll read out the quote and i'll share my thoughts and my opinions about it and the way i feel that it can actually help me and it can help you as you listen to it probably we can start a conversation from that and that is where we have the comment section so you can always tell me what your opinions are what you think about my thoughts on the quotes you know i'm moving forward so the first one i'm going to be discussing you know kind of talking about is the one by is an anonymous quote which i don't even know who actually made a quote in the first place but i think i like it and it goes to us the single most powerful tool for winning a negotiation is the ability to get up and walk away from the table without a deal now this is a powerful quote to me that's where i see it. i see it as a very very powerful quote because uh, what this is saying is that if you have that ability, if you have that power to be able to stand up and walk out without a deal in a conversation, then you can literally come, you know, control that conversation. Because the thing is that if you don't have that ability, if you don't have that opportunity, if you don't have that capacity to be able to say, okay, I'm not doing, I'm not comfortable, I don't like this thing, this is not going to be to my own interest. If you don't have the capacity to say that and then to get up and walk away without a deal, then I'm sorry, you might have to set somewhere along the line. I'm not to say that settling sometimes is bad, sometimes settling is actually necessary. But in some extreme cases, if you have that ability to leave, you might want to leave because, okay, let's, uh, I think someone talks about it very well. I think it's Donald Trump. I think Donald Trump talks about it. I can't remember the exact person that talks about, you know, being able to walk out of a deal. But if I remember it, actually, I'll, I'll still talk about it. So if you can walk out, it means that you won't take whatever thing someone is throwing at you because sometimes when people are making deals, they look at the opening, they look at the next person and start wondering what and what is their pain point. I mean, that's just much more about selling. If you know what the pain point of the next person is, you use that to sell the person the deal. So when you know that they don't have any other option, when you know that uh, what you're offering them is the best that they can get, then you may want to twist it, you know, because you believe that you are giving them the best possible choice. So you hold on. When they're asking for a reduction in price, when they're asking for more room for something, when they're asking for more option, you hold it back because you know that they ain't got no option. But if they have option and they're able to decide, oh well, if you're not giving me a reduction, I have another option. I have another offer on the table. So by that, they can easily call off the bluff of the person that is giving them something that is not worth it. So guys, think about it. If you don't have an option, you might want to go with whatever thing they offer you. Yeah, you can plead, you can harass, you can bluff. But if they are still not budging and you actually need that thing and that is the only option you have, you might actually take it. But if you have other options, and that is where someone like Grant Cardone talks about, I don't know if you don't know about Grant Cardone, you can quickly check him online. He's a real estate mogul, he's a billionaire in the real estate world. You know, he talks about filling up a pipeline. I mean, he is a sales coach, a marketing coach, and all of that. He has courses. He has a Cardo University. So, and amongst the things he talks about a lot of time is filling up your pipeline. So, when you are in sales and you depend on one person to make a sale, it's going to affect you greatly. So, when you don't have options, you tend to limit what you can do. You tend to accept and you take, you take rubbish because you don't have an option. But when you have options, when something is not working out, you simply walk away and go for the next one. 
So in his trainings, Grant Cardone talks about filling up your pipeline. So when you are selling something, don't just focus on trying to sell it to one person. You know, putting all your eggs in one basket, doing all you can to get a single person to buy something from you. No, cast out your net wide. Fill up your pipeline. Get in front of as much people as possible. Try to reach out to much more people than you need. Because you know, at the end of the day, not everyone is going to buy from you. That is just a normal thing. It's not because you are weird. It's not because your product is not good. It's not because your timing is not good and all of No. Not everyone is going to buy from you. And they all have their own reasons. And it doesn't have to be about you. You don't have to feel bad about that. It doesn't have to be about you. So what do you do to be able to counter that? You counter that by having a lot of options. Cast your net wide. So if you are selling a pencil or if you are selling a car or whatever thing, don't just focus on one sector, don't focus on one person. Show it to a thousand people if you can. So eventually someone, maybe 5% will respond. You know, like they said, even the best salesmen, if they're able to close 5 to 10%, they did a very good job. So what does that tell you? So about 90% of those you approach, 90% of those you get in front of, 90% of those you market to might not really buy from you. Maybe it's just 5 to 10% that will eventually, you know, give you the time of the day to even listen to you. And then maybe just 2, you know, 2 to 3% will convert. But check it, if you're actually dealing with a thousand people and you're able to convert 3%, that's a lot. But if you're just in front of one person and the person says no, it's like your whole world has crashed. Or even if you're just in front of 10 people and then they all said no, your whole options has crashed. Or if you're in front of thousand persons, even though 90% say that they are not doing, that they are not interested, the remaining 10% is still a good number for you to sell to. So, and when you have this amount of options, then you can be able to work out of a deal if it doesn't favor you. So that is what this quote talks about. I mean, in my own thought, in my own opinion, the way I see it, that's how I explain it. So. Whatever thing you are doing, whatever situation you find yourself, try to give yourself options. Try to look for a way to have options because when you have options, you have leverage. And when you have leverage, then you can make the best decision for yourself. Then you will not allow people to feed you what you don't want. Then you will not have to settle for something that you don't want. And this brings stress, this brings anxiety, this brings you know unhappiness when you feel that people actually see you that you don't have an option and so they can now treat you the, the, the way they want because let's face it you know we cannot try to form or try to act as if we are good people but we see this happen all the time when people notice that someone doesn't have an option take for example a job you're working somewhere your boss knows you don't have an option they get to treat you the way they want when you go for a deal and stop and the person realizes you don't have an option they get to treat you the way they want when they notice that okay, you need loan and all of that, you don't have an option, they get to treat you the way they want. Because you can't actually go on to another person, you can't go on to another option. That is the only option you have. But when you have other options and someone is messing around with you, you can say, fuck that. I'm going on to the next one. And when people notice that they are not your last bus stop, when people notice that they are not your only option, then they get to comport. Then they realize that they are in a competition with someone else and they have to actually meet up to your own needs for you to actually accept them otherwise you're going to dump them so when you have options you have leverage when you have leverage then you can work out of a deal and when you can work out of the deal and you show it that you can work out of a deal then the person giving you the deal will have to brace up will have to kit up will have to rearrange themselves and make sure that they're offering you the best deal possible so guys that's what i think about this quote what do you think when you have an option what do you think when you have that ability to be able to work out of a deal i think that makes you powerful i think that makes you get the best option that makes you get the best deal possible so have you ever been in such situation let me know in the comment section 
and uh, we can move the conversation forward so guys thank you this is going to be probably the new format of my videos on this channel so let me know what you think about it uh, of course I hope I'll be looking out for your suggestions and of course continue support thank you for sticking by best quote and of course if you're a new subscribe if you're a new viewer here please subscribe I have great content coming up in the future thank you guys Thank you.